like it. So it's cheesy, but it also has the jalapeno sauce on it. So it makes it spicy. What's up, my grub lovers? Who ready to get their grub on? You know that I am. It's your boy, Mr. Grub, back again with another one for you guys, okay? Today, I am trying Taco Bell's new rattlesnake fries, okay? Now, I know most of you guys like, who don't know are like rattlesnake fries. It's just, you know, rattlesnakes are supposed to be considered So they consider it like a wild fry kind of thing. So I'll tell you what I what I got, okay? So I got the rattlesnake fries, but they also have a rattlesnake burrito, okay? So I went ahead and got that too. And said, you know what? Who knows? I may like the fries, I may not like the burrito. We don't know, right? But we're gonna see. So I was like, you know what? Let me put them to the test, man. I haven't heard anything about these yet. I haven't heard if they're good, if they're bad, if they're sweet, if they're hot, anything, right? But I'm expecting them to be hot because of the jalapenos. So they have jalapenos all over this, okay? There's also jalapenos in the burrito as well. So it's like, it's a nice size burrito, pretty stacked. So we're gonna try these fries out, guys, because I just wanna see if they really wild like the rattlesnake. I like it. So it's cheesy, but it also has the jalapeno sauce on it. So it makes it spicy. Compared to what I've been eating, it's a cakewalk, man. So I went earlier in the day. I didn't wait too late. Because I feel like, you know, especially with fries, it's better to catch them fresh. So on the Taco Bell, I was like, I wanted to catch them fresh. So I got there a little early. For a lunch special part. And it worked out. Put my food hot. Good. I like these fries. So he gave me the sport to be sophisticated when I eat. So I guess I can try it out. Then they got a piece of steak in here. I like that too, man. I think it's I think it's good, you know, for fries. It's not expensive, you know what I'm saying? I think it's like two dollars or something. So that's not bad. I keep my water with me because you know if I eat stuff that's too spicy and I drink something that's acidic or has a high pH balance. So like me drinking this, I can't I can't eat this food and drink alkali water. It'll give me heartburn. So I drink the regular tap, which is still not bad. If you actually check the pH levels on the tap water, it's not bad. But it's not too, too high, you know what I'm saying? So it makes it easy for me to consume spicy foods not have, you know, backlash for it. Besides it just being hot. 
for a long time. But this is good. just you know hit your taste buds a little bit let you enjoy it and that's what it did for me and opened me up you see I ain't really congested I told y'all uh, on the last video man if you get you some spicy food and you got like allergies and you congested or anything like that clear you right up open it'll open up your pores trust me alright so we're gonna try this burrito guys and see how this is you know I should have got me some sauce with it but I ain't gonna lie, I was a little nervous. After the past couple of videos, man, with all the spicy food, I don't think I was really ready for it extra hot, so I kinda took it light. So yeah, so no, I don't have a sauce for it. Tell you what they did. So in a burrito, you have everything that was in your fries. So you got the fries, you got the steak, you got the jalapenos, and the jalapeno sauce. So they literally turned this into a burrito. prefer this over the burrito. I think it's because you're getting all of the ingredients up front. With this one you gotta cipher through the you know through the wrap to get to it. And then you don't know where it is, whereas in here you can kind of like collect it yourself, put the meat together with the fries, so forth and so on. So. But it is hot. I think they put more jalapenos in there. substance of, 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 of the meat. It's kind of like they weren't really going hard with the meat. You know what I'm saying? They were kind of peeling back with the meat. They didn't want to give you too much. So that's my only thing with it. Other than that, um, it's actually one of the better dishes at Taco Bell. And if you're, if you're a person that really likes spicy food, this is a good little snack for you. It's not really something that you would go if you're like super hungry. It's not a real meal kind of thing. But it's definitely a good snack to go. Uh, so on a one to ten, I give it an eight um, because it looks it looks good. It's it's as subscribed. You know when you when you you know when you look at a picture 
we always tell you guys, if it's not as it's, as it's described, then you know it takes away from it, you know, the quality of it visually anyway. So it definitely looks how it was described on the picture I saw. It tastes good. You know, like I said, the only thing I would have preferred a little bit more meat. But that's my preference, you know what I'm saying? So shout out to Taco Bell, man. You know, um, I think this is a, a nice little pick-me-up. Um, you know, for those of us who like to dabble in, you know, the spicy affairs, you know what I'm saying? So, shout out to them for that. Um, you guys, comment below. Let me know if you have tried it, what you think. Because I'm pretty sure Taco Bell's are different in different areas. So, some people may have gotten a better uh, experience with more meat or have a worse experience. So, you guys, comment below and let me know. All you guys who are new to the channel, don't be shy. Hit that like and subscribe. You guys, hit that notification bell so you get all my content first. Okay. Until next time, you guys. It's been fun as always. It's your boy, Mr. Grub. I'm out.